don't get your expectations too high. Yeah. Which is which is what we have to watch out for because we meet, you know, Jessica. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jessica. And she's good looking and she's nice to mm. you. And so you take that trajectory of the first two data points that are both pointing up and you just turn that into freaking an angel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With a future. With a future, with kids, like the whole nine yards. Yeah. You have two data points. Yeah. One, she's cute. Two, she's nice to you at that moment. <laughs> at that moment. And you take yeah. those two data points yeah. and run freaking buck wild. Yeah. yeah. For a female, you take a dude. He's a handsome dude and he's nice to you. There's two data points. Mm-hmm. And you're going thinking that this is it. This is the, this is the one. Yeah. Do not do that. Yeah. Gather more data. You can you observe. Yeah. Right? If you're looking if if you're walking up to a, a um a cave and you thought there was a lion in there, mm-hmm. right? Are you going to and you want to gather some data? Like you see some Let's see you see some lion scat outside, right? Sure, hell yeah. Let's see you see some lion prints outside. Mm. You got two data points. Yeah. Could there's there's seems like there's a lion in there. Yeah. Do you go running into the cave looking for the lion? Mm. No, you don't. So let's not do that here. Let's stay outside the cave. Gather more data points without running into the cave is my recommendation. Here's another thing. And this is kind of along the same lines. People aren't who you want them to be. They are who they are. And you can't confuse those things. And you can't think that you're going to take someone who is the way they are and change them into who you want them to be. Mm. Now, how do we not get hurt? I'll tell you how you don't get hurt. When you stay outside collecting data points, you don't overcommit. When the lion comes out or the lioness comes out with its mouth dripping with blood and you see it from... 200 yards away through your binoculars, you go, oh, cool. Good to see that. Now I didn't lose my larynx <laughs> to this animal. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Now I didn't yeah. get my larynx. head slashed apart. Yeah. So when you see, when you get to see someone, when you get more data and you realize that someone isn't who you thought they were, you go, oh, cool. I'm glad I didn't invest a bunch of time, money, commitment, effort into this relationship when all that would have happened is I would have gotten my heart ripped out and eaten. Yeah. Walk away, don't look back. Don't be a jerk about it. Mm-hmm. But say, hey, Jessica, it was awesome to know you. I really appreciate it. I look, I'm, you know, I, I'll see you out sometime. Mm-hmm. Then walk away and don't look back. What we do is we look back. What we do is not we just look back. We start walking back. We crawl back. We see if they're looking. We try and get their attention. It's a freaking disaster. Walk away, don't look back. Yeah. Sounds like a song you might be writing, but you ever, well, here's the thing. Uh, this very well could be a woman, by the way, a female. Yes. And I, I'm kind of talking from the male perspective yeah. because I'm a male. Yeah. yeah. And, and as I was wondering like, well, you know, what's different for, it's not, it's actually not, I don't think it's yeah. any different. Yeah. I think it's the same. A woman should do the same thing. Look, if the relationship is worth it and it's meant to be. And I hate to say that because it sounds super cheesy, like, but if it's meant to be, mm. it you'll be good. And that's like a big thing that, that goes along with your data point mm-hmm. theory, hypothesis, whatever. Is like you know because the big thing, and the, let's face it, we we know a lot of Navy SEALs, and there seems to be I they don't get know one data point they're going. And the, here's the thing, no, they <laughs> they get a bunch. The ones I've known, anyway, yeah. some of the ones I know, they get a bunch of data points, and a lot of them are red flags. But oh, they seem to just, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. bypass those red flags and just look at maybe the one or two good data mm-hmm. points or whatever, and then they base the future on that or whatever. Yeah. Well, okay. So here's a good addition to my comment. Yeah. Gather more data points and read them <laughs> and and <laughs> utilize them in the calculus yeah. of your forward movement. Yeah. Because you're right. There, I've seen some of my friends, man, you see mega red flag data points. There's one awesome data point, which is, oh, she's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the data point. Oh, yeah. And then the other data point is she's psychotic. Yes. She is an alcoholic. She is from a uh, insane background. Her environment is crazy. <laughs> and what's the guy think? Yeah. Dude, I'm going to marry her. Oh, yeah. Exciting. <laughs> you meet a hot girl mm-hmm. and.
and they're super hot and they're impressed that you're a Navy SEAL, right? We're kind of going in the right direction. <laughs> well, hell yeah. And kind of a big deal, you yeah. know? Like, I mean, you know, guys with jobs that they like, regardless of SEAL, not SEAL, you can go, you're, I don't know, stockbroker, mm. and someone's impressed with that. Oh, you kind of want to get, get a, you know, mm. you want to be around that that little environment, right? My wife, I told my wife I was in the Navy when I met her, which was true. And she didn't seem to be impressed with that at all. Maybe after a little while of knowing her, I was like, well, I'm in the SEAL teams. And she was like, oh. Well, and that's what I found too. And this is, I don't know, I don't know everybody, you know? Mm. And I can't read minds, to be mm. honest with you. We figured that out last <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> but it did seem like- I like, like how you throw the butt. You constantly say you're not a mind reader, but you always throw a butt in But there. I see behavioral patterns. But this is just in my experience, and I don't know everybody. Like I said, I don't know everybody. I'm saying for what it's worth, this Mm -hmm. is my experience and my interpretation or misinterpretation. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Where girls or groups of girls, like if they know what a Navy SEAL is and they like it, they're impressed by it, they'll be around. Mm Mm-hmm. And it, girls who don't know what Navy SEAL is, it's like, okay, you're military. Mm-hmm. It's either military or non-military to them, and they, they don't know, like probably your wife was. They're not impressed with it. They're mm-hmm. just like, whatever, cool, you have a job. And so that's the the reason they'll be happy. But the people who do know what it is, the girls who do know what it is, oh, they love that thing. They're using the jargon or whatever, and it seems like there's little groups of them. That's what it seems like. You are correct, there are. Yeah. So I'm saying if you co- if I'm a Navy SEAL, Mm-hmm. And of course, I love being a Navy SEAL. And I go and I r- come across one of these groups, and I see one of the hottest one in the group, and she's impressed with m- my impressive job, and she's letting me know that's a point of pleasure for me. So we have a data point. One of the many, yes, sir, a very mm-hmm. pleasurable uh, data positive. point. That, a data point that gets calculated within twenty seconds. Oh yeah. What oh, do yeah. you do? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so I'm saying, data point hey, calculated, check, yes. rock and roll. Yeah, but yeah. Maybe not. Maybe try to uh, uh, be on the lookout for those red flags. I yep. guess. And and well. look, man, I think I really kind of summed it up. It's like go slow, man. Don't overcommit. Right. Go slow. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get crazy. You know. And and to your point, which is difficult, is like you're like that kind of ruins it. Yeah. Right. Because we like to be all. Oh, oh, yeah. Can't wait to see Jessica. It does. She's yeah, so yeah. great. It's like yeah. no, dude. She's not so great. She might be, yeah. But just take it easy, dude. I don't know, man. Yeah, it, it's the risky run for mm-hmm. sure. You know, because the you know the the better it can be, the worse it can be. And then if you dumb it down to like, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna take my time and detach and be like less emotional or whatever, like, don't you kind of put a limit on the goodness of it? Yeah, you know? maybe. It's weird because it's like you're out at sea at a storm in a storm Mm -hmm. and you want to catch some of those big waves when you're out there Mm -hmm. but you want to be safe when when you're you don't want to get smashed and drowned either true which so it's like this weird balancing act you gotta you gotta kind of have a big one too is people they try to force stuff too you know like oh i'm 30 they and this person indicated their age like around 30 right where Mm -hmm. that's kind of the the time right where Mm -hmm. people are starting to be like "Uh oh i'm not in a relationship you know all this stuff and then they start actively searching for a future husband wife you know bad move that's what i'm saying for uh, just actively searching is a bad sign and people can smell intent and now you're on the whole totally wrong path don't do that yeah we should have that's a good good catch yeah so don't force that kind of stuff don't be like hey let's meet my parents on like the second date or whatever and the good thing is everything we're saying Everything we're saying is in support of that. Because yeah. if you're out looking for, if you're out look going into the cave, they are like, well, what are you doing in my cave right, right now? Right. What are you doing? <laughs> right. What are you, what are you doing? No one invited you in here. No knock. Freaking no cave knock. Entrance. Rolling into the cave? No. Yeah. no. So don't go, you know, sit back. Use your binos. Yeah. Your binoculars. Look at from a distance. Stay away. By the way, guess what's going to happen? They're going to come out looking for you because they're interested. Yeah. And now you have a little bit of a better advantage, yeah. right? You're not looking stupid. No, that's bad to look stupid. So don't, don't It's kind of got to let it happen naturally. You ever have a friend who tries to force the, like, they try to accelerate the friendship, like, quicker? You ever have that? Dude, people don't really do that with me. <laughs> yeah, I can see how that can be for sure. <laughs> but, you know, guys, people do that sometimes. You know, it's like, oh, I'm new to the town or whatever. Mm-hmm. Hey, you want to? Anyway, you got to let that stuff develop naturally is what I'm saying. Jack. I used to feel like you were kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, with you? But trust me, I don't want to hang out with you most of the time. <laughs> Dude, see, see what you're doing right now? This Jack. makes me not want to hang out with you. I kind of want to go home. Jack.